and welcome to Perception Media. I am your hostess, The Cindy Geek, and today I have a theory. So my theory postulates that Cinderella is related to the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. So there already is this theory that Jane from Tarzan is related to Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Honestly, most of that evidence just has to do with uh, the cup chip and the fact that their dresses look alike, but it's really loose. Um, my theory has a mathematical basis. Yes, that's right. I can prove Cinderella and the Beast are related mathematically. And uh, I spent way too long looking all this up, admittedly. <laughs> so anyway, um, Cinderella, written by Charles Perrault, came out in 1697. However, the story of Cinderella actually dates back in one form or another all the way to BC times, although under a different name. And uh, the Disney film came out in 1950, and a lot of people online estimate that it takes place in the 1870s, however, I'm going to, con um, to argue that. So, Prince Charming is the Prince of France. However, in 1870, Napoleon III, Napoleon Bonaparte, was the Emperor, um, although he was dis dethroned? I'm not sure if that's the right word. Um, he, he His reign ended in 1870, after which, I'm not going to pronounce this, uh, Louis-Jules Truchow was president um, for maybe a few months, and then um, Adolf Thiers, also not pronounced correctly, was president of France from 1870 to 1879. And then I argue that uh, Cinderella actually takes place closer to when Pro wrote it, and I'm going to say it takes place around the 1680s. So then we're going to move on to Beauty and the Beast, and that was originally written in 1740, and then it was rewritten in 1756. I'm not even going to try to pronounce those beautiful French names because they would pronounce them, oh, so very wrong. <laughs> and the Disney film Beauty and the Beast came out in 1991. And then it takes place from the around mid to late 1700s, and I'm just going to say the 1750s for argument's sake. And Beast is the prince, maybe, of France. Ish. Definitely France, though. Uh, but maybe prince? Prince? possibly, um, and his father is dead, and his mother is off at war in the novelizations, not the cartoon or live-action cinematic versions. Um, either way, both of his parents um, are presumably dead, and he may or may not have had maybe a brother that was ruling France in his place. Okay, so now we're going to go to the real rulers of France in uh, <laughs> the 16 and 1700s. Did I mention I did a lot of research? So we're starting with Louis XIV, and um, if you're a fan of the Three Musketeers, this is who, uh, Man in the Iron Mask, that's uh, this Louis, because they're all named Louis, by the way. Um, so he was born in 1638, and he ruled from 1643 to 1715, uh, having become king of France when he was five, and he had six legitimate children, only uh, one of whom lived, and it was a son, Although he did have like 13 illegitimate kids at least, which is crazy. A lot of these kings had a lot of illegitimate kids. It's wild. So um, his one son who lived is Louis the Grand Dauphin. And he would have made sure that Louis got married and had an offspring to continue the bloodline. He would have really, really been pushing this. And he, um, that Louis was born in um, 1661 and he lived until 1711. So he actually died before his father did. And he ended up having four legitimate sons, I'm sorry, three legitimate sons and four illegitimate children. Um, his oldest legitimate son was Louis the Book of Duke of Burgundy, who was born in um, 1682 and died in 1712. Also, uh, just after his father, but still before his grandfather, who was still king at this time. And uh, he had only one surviving issue. He, uh, issue are what they call their children. Um... So he actually died, I believe, of either measles or smallpox when his wife got infected. He was very close to his wife and uh, stayed by her side while she was sick. And I believe their oldest son also contracted this at the same time and died as well. So this leaves Louis XV, his son, as his only surviving uh, child. 
and he became king after um, Louis the Fourteenth died. So this is Louis the Fourteenth's great grandson, and uh, he also became king at age five in 1715, and he lived until he uh, until 1774. He had ten legitimate children and twelve at least illegitimate children. Um, the oldest boy would have been Louis Dolphin. I think um, of his ten legitimate children, he had eight girls and two boys. Um, so Louis was the oldest, and he was off, also a dolphin. That, I'm not pronouncing that right. He's not a dolphin. <laughs> that would be funny. He's a, Okay, anyway. Um, he was born in um, 1729, and he died in 1765. He had about eight children, um, I think four of whom died very young, and he had additionally five uh, stillborns. Was, he did not have a lot of luck with children. It's actually quite sad. Um, but one of his children would be Louis the Sixteenth, who was born in 1754, and he died in 1793. Because um, Louis the Dolphin, I'm not saying this right. I cannot be saying this right. Um, died before Louis the Fifteenth, his father. I'm sorry, Louis the yeah, Louis the Fifteenth, his father. Um, Louis the Sixteenth became king when he was about 19, and this would be the Louis who married Marie Antoinette and uh, was beheaded during the French Revolution. So now we're going to go and say, how can I prove Cinderella and um, Beast are related? So I postulate that Cin the Prince Charming, it is Prince Charming, right? I super hope that. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. So Cinderella and Prince Charming, I contend that they are the fictitious stand-ins for Louis the Grand Dolphin, who is the son of Louis the Fourteenth. And because that was uh, Louis XIV's only son, he, as I said, would have really, really needed him to get married and have children, which is why that party would make sense. And so he found Cinderella and married her, and then they would have uh, Louis the Burg Duke of Burgundy, who would then have Louis the Fifteenth, and who would then have uh, Louis the Dolphin. And as I said, he had um, like ten children, two of whom were boys. So Louis Dolphin and uh, one year younger than him, born in 1730, would be his brother Philippe. I postulate that Beast would be Philippe, and Philippe was said to have died when he was three, so I'm essentially asserting that he did not pass away, but in fact was hidden away because he became the Beast after being cursed when he was 10 years old. And if this story does place take place around 1750, um, he would be 20 turning 21 when that happened. So mathematically, that actually does fit. And unfortunately, that would mean that his and Belle's child would be Louis the, uh, I'm, uh, math, he, uh, 15th, I'm sorry, 16th, I made a typo, Louis the 16th, and he would have been killed in the French Revolution, which is kind of sad. Um, so anyway, there I have math mathematically proven that Cinderella could potentially be Beast's great-grandmother. Yeah, I think that's fun. Just a weird little theory. Uh, monarchies are weird, and I really wish I knew how to pronounce dolphin correctly, because now I just imagine all these French princes were dolphins. And this could be a legitimate, perfectly legitimate, <laughs> um, uh, Little Mermaid tie-in. Where was Prince Eric Prince of? Story for another time. We need a Moon Knight movie. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.